uh, when we launched um, the app in a beta version to test the market, to get feedback from uh, party people and businesses, we came up with, the, with quite edgy and funny uh, marketing campaign that was slightly provocative. And while I was trying to uh, promote the app at universities, they banned us and they called us that we are slightly too laddish for students. Um, and this got picked up by press. Um, and eventually, as a result, um, investors found out about us and I got approached uh, by our current investor Bacardi family member who read the article on a Facebook. We are a party company, party app, mobile app. Um, uh, we actually tend to <laughs> mix this to day outs and night outs and it's like life is a party in uh, our dictionary. Um, a typical one, we actually tend to go um, to uh, places around our HQ, which is like around Mayfair. We tend to go to quirky, uh, speakeasy, like um, Cahoots uh, lounge bars, like Sketch, or then for the after, uh, we go to the box. Today when I woke up, I was super excited that I can share some of my wisdom and experience with uh, public and, and talk about what we went through or uh, potentially some quirky thoughts on, uh, see on the life of a party CEO or um, a female entrepreneur or um, a female in tech. I, so I don't actually tend to have any go-to conversations because um, as, as you might know, I used to work in investment bank and there were always these uh, short chats, like lines that people introduce themselves with. So I always tend um, and I always preferred to um, at approach people uh, with more personalized um, or quirky, uh, funny um, opening line that catches the attention. <laughs> The most important um, aspect of a night out um, is people. So in terms of where should you go out with, it's first make sure you are with the right people, with the right attitude, with the right mindset, then you can turn any place into a party, even like your living room, a quiet bar, yeah, or obviously like uh, some really cool club. Um, so that's the first tip. Um, but when it comes to actual place for a night out, um, I think shortage is excellent, um, even though I'm a big fan of a central, um, like my first scene as well. Uh, short, a shortage, it, it just keeps on going uh, for pre drinks, for the party after, then the after party is all in one place, and people are really bohemian there, really um, interesting, and they're, they're really into their music, uh, which always uh, creates a b beautiful atmosphere. So I'm in famous gate crusher. <laughs> um, I went to the Lisbon uh, to Web Summit conference. Mm, it's a brilliant conference, and uh, the speakers were absolutely great. And um, it w there were up around fifty thousand people, and so it was quite a big space. And somehow I managed to get lost, and thanks to that I managed to crash the, by coincidence the main VIP. Uh, forum area. Um, so I was on the phone and all of a sudden I found myself surrounded with canapé, champagne. Bouncers didn't pay attention to me somehow. And then I just ended up with a CEO of a Nasdaq, of a sleepy OCM of Facebook, or like with all of these influential journalists. Um, and because I'm quite chatty, <laughs> obviously I started talking to everyone. Mm -hmm.